Welcome to another week of Spotlight on the Archives from American Library. And this week, you may have also noticed that it is International Archives Week. We're actually a library, a public library and war memorial in Norwich. And our archive collection is housed at the Norfolk Record Office. I'm Orla, the librarian, and this week we are putting the spotlight on Ovetta Culp Hobby and the women of the Women's Army Air Corps. Every week we're bringing you a highlight from our archive collection, helping you to discover and explore our history from home. Here you see Colonel Ovetta Culp Hobby, amongst the men of the 2nd Air Division of the 8th Air Force. World War II wasn't just a man's war. 350,000 women answered the call in the United States alone. 38 of those did not make it home. 1942 was a pivotal year for the future of women in the armed forces. In May, the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps was created. Despite some concern, by November 1942, the initial recruitment goal of 25,000 had been met and then surpassed. The Women's Army Auxiliary Corps converted to an active duty status in the Army of the US as the Women's Army Corps on July 1st, 1943. There were 150,000 women in the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps by the war's end. The first director of the Women's Army Corps was Colonel Ovetta Culp Hobby. She was commissioned as a colonel on July 5th, 1943. The challenge for her was to convince the American public that a woman could join the army and remain a lady. In January, 1944, Ovetta Culp Hobby came to Norfolk. She visited the 2nd Air Division. Images of this visit are held in our archive collection at the Norfolk Record Office, donated to us as part of the veteran Raymond A. Hess collection. You can also see many of these images online at digitalarchive.secondair.com .org.uk. Here you see Culp Hobby flying into Norfolk in 1944. She met many of the women. She visited the kitchens, the staff quarters, and attended a cathedral service where she was photographed many, many times. Colonel Culp Hobby received the Distinguished Service Medal for efforts during the war. She was the first woman in the army to receive this. There are more photographs of Ovetta on our digital archive and many, many more photographs of the members of the Women's Army Corps. These photographs are alongside diaries, memoirs, and other mementos of the women who were here. If you've got any stories that you'd like to share, please let us know in the comments below or get in touch with us directly at the library. Thanks for listening.